right, so we've reached the last video for this chapter that I'm going to make. Um, this one is going to be talking about additional assignment operators. We only know so far about the equals assignment operator, but we have more and they can do some really cool stuff. Um, we are talking about A4.7 here very briefly. Again, do go over the apply the concepts part of the textbook, but I, I did want to focus in on this one really useful tool. So we already are familiar with variable assignment, where we use the equal sign to assign a value to a variable, whether that's um, after declaration like I have right here with int count equals zero, or whether it's at the time of declaration. We've already seen that before. Now a helpful thing that we can do with a variable is modify its value based on what it currently is holding. We're using its own value to modify what it's holding. For example, if we say int count equals int count plus one, what happens is Visual Basic, you know, it will read left to right. It says int count equals. Okay, this is variable assignment, so I will put a pin in this. I'll put this on the back burner for now and look at what's on the right side of that assignment. Once I figure out the right side, then I'll stick that into the variable. Now, on the right side, it says int count plus one. Okay, so let's take the current value of int count. So we're substituting out this reference to int count with its current value. Let's say it's 23. So int count gets replaced by 23, and then it calculates 23 plus one, which is 24. So now practically what it has is int count equals 24. And then it assigns 24 to int count. So now int count has the value 24. It previously had 23. We used that value of 23 in order to calculate the next value, which is 24. And then we stick that in int count. The 23 is gone forever, even though we used it to get to 24. So we have this idea that we can modify a variable's value based on that value itself. Now, another tool that we have is the arithmetic assignment operator which works a little bit like how a variable assignment operator normally does. Normally we would have variable name equals expression, but now we have variable name and then we stick one of these operators in and then we still have an expression over there. Now this is a secondary operator. So sort of, um, a primary operator would be one that kind of does its own thing, such as addition or variable assignment. A secondary operator is something that kind of combines multiple primary operations into one thing that can be a lot more convenient. Now, um, each of these arithmetic assignment operators allows you to modify the value of a variable using the current value of the variable, the associated arithmetic operator, and a value you are using to modify it with. For example, we can look at plus equals as one of our arithmetic assignment operators. The current value, let's say we're talking about int count starting at 23 and going to 24. So the current value is 23. The associated arithmetic operator is going to be addition and the value you are using to modify it with, in this case, one. And it doesn't even have to be a value, it is any expression that you're using to modify it with using that operator. When I say int count plus equals one, I get the value of int count, which is 23. And then in this case, this is plus equals. So I'm adding something to 23 and I have one on the other side of it. The expression is just one. What this becomes is int count equals 23 plus one int count equals 24, and then it puts 24 into int count. So int count has increased its own value by one since I put plus equals right here. It is equivalent to saying int count equals int count plus one. The exact same thing. I get the value out of int count in both cases. And then I evaluate the expression. In this case, it's adding plus one to that value. So now it's 24. And then I stick the new value back into int count. So I've modified the value and the, the old value is gone completely. And what this does is it saves us a lot of typing, which is always nice. 
these are all of our arithmetic assignment operators. We have the associated regular mathematical operator. You know, these are all numeric operators that we're focusing on right now. And then the associated arithmetic assignment operator with them. And then, you know, an, an example using them, right? And then what they're equivalent to if we typed it out normally without the arithmetic assignment operator. We have our in-count example over here, but we have examples for almost every mathematical operator. Uh, double rate uh, division equals two is going to be the same as double rate equals double rate divided by two. So we're having double rate right here. Or uh, int num groups, integer division equals seven. That's a mouthful, which is equivalent to integer num groups equals integer num groups integer division seven. Um, this is a typo right here. This should be deck big as well, but deck big uh, to the power of equals deck big. It's going to be the same thing as a decimal big equals decimal big to the power of decimal big. And so on and so forth. Um, two things of note, of course, uh, the modulo operator is left out and is sad. And I'm sad because in other programming languages, I love my modulo equals operator assignment operator like that, but we can only dream. And the other thing is this, uh, these couple of expressions over here where there are larger, um, expressions, for example, uh, decimal checking minus equals 100 times int count, which is the same thing as saying decimal checking equals decimal checking minus, and we put the parentheses in, uh, we put the expression in parentheses because over here, this uh, expression is handled first before the subtraction. So it has to be the same thing over here. No matter what's in the expression, it has to be decimal checking minus 100 times in count. That really comes in handy for double rate. Uh, double rate times equals five plus in count is going to be the same thing as saying double rate equals double rate times five plus in count in parentheses. So that's really helpful to know is that the expression gets evaluated first before the uh, operator associated with the arithmetic assignment operator. It kind of puts that parentheses in the back because it's as if the associated operator is kicked to the end of the PEMDAS uh, precedence order kind of thing. So that's really important to know. So the right operand, the thing that comes after the operator equals thing, can be any valid expression. Uh, of course, the types have to match and all that kind of thing. The associated operation happens after the expression is evaluated, like I, like I talked about before. So for example, int blah um, exponent equals 47 plus 3 to the power of 2. This is going to be equivalent to int blah equals int blah to the power of, in parentheses, 47 plus 3 to the power of 2, which evaluates to uh, it equaling int blah to the power of 47 plus 9, which evaluates it to equaling int blah to the power of 56. So this top statement right here, int blah uh, power equals all this, is essentially int blah power equals 56. It is not equivalent to int blah equals int blah to the power of 47 plus 33 uh, to the power of 2 with no parentheses whatsoever because you run into some uh, operator precedence issues when you eventually get whatever the evaluated uh, value of int blah to the power of 47 is plus nine, which is nowhere near equivalent to int blah to the power of 56, probably by a long shot, depending on what the value of int blah is. So that's really important to keep in mind. And that's assignment operators. Go wild with these. They're a lot of fun to use. Um, so I hope you enjoy that. I hope you find that tip helpful. I hope you find all this selection stuff helpful and maybe even a little bit cool because now you're turning programming into a choose your own adventure. Um, I don't know if those types of books are still popular anymore. Uh, I have this weird nostalgia for them, but if you know, you know, 
or you know like one of those text-based adventures or point and click adventure whatever you want to do right you know you get a lot more freedom with your programming because you get to make choices and you get to test if things are equal to things and you get to make claims and be proven right or wrong about them and then have your program do certain things based on that so yeah we're really getting into programming right now i think that's really cool so i hope you enjoy